There are various signs that the trend of China and Russia getting closer is unstoppable. Against this background, Russia is full of confidence in China's assistance to Russia. Russian military media such as Top War published articles discussing the possibility of the arrival of Chinese military aid and analyzed what weapons China could provide to Russia. To put it simply, there is a view in the Russian military circle that, as a country with a large number of nuclear weapons and rich resources, Russia is still an important strategic partner of China. Especially when the United States and the West continue to act in the Asia-Pacific direction and compress China's living space, China will not sit back and watch Russia's political instability or even fall to the West. Now, whether Russia's political situation can maintain stability depends largely on the outcome of the Russia-Ukraine war. Therefore, the Russian military community believes that China can consider military aid to Russia and even conduct actual combat tests of its own weapons through the hands of the Russian army. From China's point of view, the argument of the Russian military community is entirely based on its own judgment, without a real understanding of China's position. You must know that China has always maintained neutrality on the Russia-Ukraine issue. On the one hand, it hopes that the international community can listen to Russia's reasonable demands. On the other hand, it also constantly emphasizes that Ukraine's sovereignty and territorial integrity should be respected. Therefore, what China is doing now is actually persuading peace and ending the war, creating conditions for the two sides to sit at the negotiating table, and the possibility of providing military aid to Russia is very slim. But this does not affect our analysis of the possible impact of Chinese-made weapons on the current Russian army through Russian media articles. In the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, the Russian military has obvious advantages in sea and air and does not need China's assistance. The Russian military community has focused its attention on the ground heavy equipment made in China. Let's talk about tanks first. The Russian side is now focusing on at least 2,096 series tanks in the hands of the People's Liberation Army. The Russian side made this choice, which should be based on several considerations. When the West began to provide Ukraine with Leopard 2 and other tanks, Russia really wanted 99A tanks, but they also knew that 99A, equipped with a lot of new equipment, was China's most advanced achievement in armored vehicles. Just as the Russian army has not put the T-14 Amata into the battlefield until now, China is unlikely to allow the outside world to have access to 99A tanks. In addition to the 99A, among China's active and stock tanks, the most advanced is the 96 series tanks. The Russian army is also familiar with this tank. In the tank biathlon competition in recent years, the PLA team using 96B tanks has always been a very strong opponent of the Russian army. Another point is that the operating system of the 96 series tanks is not much different from the Russian T-72, T-80 and other tanks. Russian military personnel only need to be familiar with the equipment performance before they can go into battle. If it is the 99A that uses the steering wheel to drive, the Russian tank drivers, who are accustomed to using the joystick need to be retrained. In the field of armored vehicles, Russia is looking at the 04A infantry fighting vehicle. To a certain extent, this is also due to the consideration of maneuverability. The weapon system of 04A refers to the Russian BMP-3, and the Russian armored infantry units can get started faster. The Russian side now also proposes that China can provide Russia with ZBL-08, ZTL-11, and other wheeled infantry fighting vehicles to make up for the Russian army's shortcomings in this field. Due to the limited output of the Boomerang series of infantry fighting vehicles, the wheeled combat vehicles in the Russian army are still dominated by the BTR-80 series. During the Western 2021 joint military exercise, the Russian army showed a strong interest in these wheeled infantry fighting vehicles of the People's Liberation Army. From the needs of the Russian side, 
we can see that there are obvious differences in the overall weapons development paths of China and Russia. Although many cutting-edge weapons developed by China are superior to Russian products of the same type, considering the versatility of ammunition and the level of informatization, it is difficult to truly integrate into the Russian military's combat system. If Russia really wants Chinese weapons, it needs to make adjustments to its combat system. Otherwise, even if China does provide assistance to Russia, these weapons will not be able to play their due role. At that time, as the Russian side said, providing ammunition is the simplest and most effective way for China to aid Russia.